A new world of work is emerging. The economy is recovering, furlough has finished, and the war for talent has resumed. So what does this mean for occupational demand? Responding to Lee's three frontiers, I will cover the areas that we believe are having the greatest impact on our clients' real estate decisions. Number one, flexible working models. Number two, landlord partnerships. And number three, the influence of ESG. As Lee has mentioned, whilst many have adopted some form of flexible working, it is clear that there is no uniform approach. We are seeing differences between sectors, but also within sectors. As businesses compete for talent, they need to offer an inspiring office with a choice of working environment and a competitive flexible working model. The challenges that our clients face, however, is that business leaders need to make long-term commitments based on, potentially, short-term behaviour. A high-growth tech client of ours has found it incredibly difficult to determine their spatial requirement, having initially increased and then subsequently decreased their size. Getting the brief right is difficult, and they are not alone. We have had numerous clients revise their flexible working policies to offer significantly more flexibility. In a year's time, however, will these policies still stand? Will more staff wish to spend a greater portion of the week in the office as we learn to live with COVID? So, a question to our landlord clients. How can landlords help with the challenges that flexible working poses to occupiers. This leads me into my next section, landlord partnerships. Answer to their needs for flexibility, amenity-rich buildings with a choice of working environment, and options to grow and flex outside of lease events and core space takes. This will enable occupiers to feel more confident heading into longer-term commitments. Critical when staff behavior is still so unpredictable the tenants also focus on that long-term relationship. The reputation of the landlord to deliver a hospitality level of service for the duration of the lease is key. Our clients wish to have meaningful and positive interaction with their service provider throughout their occupation and not just when a management issue arises or when a lease event occurs. And what better way to curate and grow this relationship than by utilizing smart building technology and building apps to augment those regular interactions. By using this technology, occupiers can fully understand their usage of the space, manage energy consumption, and engage in a community created by the landlord. A media client of ours recently told me their staff are increasingly demanding better environmental performance from their employer. Landlords are uniquely placed to help companies accurately monitor their own actions and therefore achieve their green initiatives. This relationship can then come full circle with occupiers sharing their energy usage data. This will assist landlords with their own analysis on the energy performance of their assets and the reduction of carbon emissions, which is where the increasing influence of ESG comes into play. Whilst ESG is now front and centre of building design, many occupiers have been behind the curve until recently but we are starting to see an awakening. The influence of ESG on our clients' real estate decisions is rising up the agenda and is no longer the preserve of large corporates. Accreditations do play a role in the shortlisting of buildings, but this is what our clients really want to know. How and why has the building achieved this accreditation? What is the data that sits behind this? And how will a move to a particular building assist them in achieving their wider CSR objectives? They need landlords to answer these questions more thoroughly, but in a way that is relevant to occupiers. Our clients can then answer to their own investors and staff in turn. So in summary, the role that a landlord plays in today's world has become multifaceted. Occupiers are looking for landlords to deliver best-in-class sustainable buildings, to be an educator on real estate sustainability, to embrace flexibility, to engage with technology and data, and most importantly, to truly partner with them. It's a big ask. So what's in it for the landlords? Well, we all know that there is real value in a relationship that stands the test of time.